Udo, we are in Venice, we are very lucky, right? Could you tell me what was the aim of this exhibition, which is extremely special and sophisticated? Yeah, it is sophisticated in the meaning of that it takes time to get the whole complexity of our human brain. And the world is as complex as the brain is and as this exhibition is. But uh, so what did you decide to show? Well, it's uh, mainly about uh, the history of uh, how humankind uh, tried to do the research on the human brain. Where is the human brain located? How is the human brain functioning? What is it about our consciousness? What makes us to be conscious? How does our memory work? And it's a new, what I always said, what a challenge it was for us to come up with an exhibition. And this yes. was a quite long journey, a long journey on research. And I hope that we came up with an exhibition that is not didactic, but that really gives the people the idea, ah, from now on, I will do more. I want to know more about human brain, about my brain, because my brain is finally what makes me the character, the person I am. But it's a real path, in fact. This exhibition is a path. You go from one idea to another. But yeah. what about art in the exhibition? There is no art in the traditional sense anymore in the exhibition. We don't, we don't mind about tradition. What about art not traditional? Um, you see, a personal, very personal, uh, answer would be since many years I'm not interested anymore in these terms of art or science it is for sure something that can people impress and that's also visually very attractive if you mind that this is also could be considered as something that art also have as science can have it then it's okay but it is not during Venice Art Biennial a show where you can see artworks that deal or illustrate human brains. But it's not use, an illustration. But you use the brain of an artist. In oh yes, yeah, absolutely. So absolutely. You believe in art, or you yeah, believe in artists? I believe in artists. You see, that is why. I was so happy when I got in touch with Terence Simon to work with me on this exhibition because I know how she shapes her work that is about documentary, about films, photographs and always very deep thought. And this is what makes her work so great. It doesn't matter if you say it's an artwork. I did two or three shows with her before, but it was never ever the question, is this a good artwork? Mm. It was relevant. And Terence Simon always comes up with something that is very relevant to all of us. Merci. Have you noticed that everyone was attracted by you as you were speaking, even the baby? Really? <laughs>